Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have right here the new BMW X1 uh, X Drive. This is the ATD engine, the, the diesel engine uh, version that I have right here with me. So um, I'm pretty happy. I know this is one of the most wanted city SUV um, these days and I'm really happy to review it again for you guys. Uh, if you didn't see the other video with the new BMW X1, um, check it out on my channel. This is the X1 2020 uh, version, 2020 version uh, of the BMW X1. So um, let's go to the review the car. I will show you some information about the price and engine and all that stuff. And also I will show you the exterior of the car. Um, I think you will love um the review because i will go really deep into detail and i try to show you every single uh, small thing about the car also the car come with a uh, full led in the front in the back it has uh led lights almost everywhere outside it's it's full led in the front also headlight and all that stuff and also in the back here you can see the information so uh, bmw x1 x drive 80 d diesel uh, 2 liter engine 149 horsepower 350 newton meter uh, the price of this car it's 56000 francs uh, the same in dollars uh, maybe a little bit less in euro you can pause the video and read all that option that come with the car uh, the consumption around 6.3, 1,832 kilograms um, the car have. So uh, if you are into these details, you can pause the video there and read all the information about the color, name and all that stuff. I like the fact that they add this plastic protection here around the edges of the car. This will protect the paint um, and it's, it's really helpful. Uh, you can change it also very easy when it's get a uh, scratch or um, something like that. And also this continuing under the car here around the edges of the doors. And this is a super nice protection to have on your car. Um, and I like the, the fact that they do that. I wish I have on my car as well uh, some kind of plastic protection around those uh, wheels. But yeah, I don't have it, so I have to put some kind of paint protection film there um, to protect it in time. So you can see there, even in the back, they add that uh, plastic protection and it's very useful, very practical in time. Uh, six parking sensors in the front. You can see right here the second one and then the third one right here on the bumper in the middle. A very beautiful bumper. Um, the car come with this kind of new bumper uh, also it's great for the aerodynamic because the air will go inside here and then the air will go outside here around the wheel uh, just a little bit here you can see it the air come out here around the wheels and then it go directly in the in the back uh, around the car also a uh, beautiful beautiful design i like this black glossy plastic and uh, the fog lamps are also led that's a really, really cool stuff um, to have it on a car. So uh, then I like those lines, the way they design the bumper. It's, it looks so sporty. It looks aggressive and, and pretty nice. I don't understand really this, this right here. Here, I think they take the bumper. If you see my other videos with the X6 and BMW 3 Series and 1 Series, you will see that this part here, the air will go inside the bumper and then you will go directly to the brake disc and it will cool down the brake disc but in this car they don't need to cool down the brake disc because the car is not so powerful and then they just leave it like that the bumper they, they just put that plastic uh, glossy black plastic there for the design also you can see the bmw led uh, this is not the last uh, LED light from BMW. The laser one is the last one. So you immediately know when you see inside there uh, a blue line uh, on the headlamps, then you have the LED light or that car have the LED light. This one have the normal LED, but they are also great. The, the grill is also nice. You can see there the clappers are closed right now. You have this new system when it's cold outside the clappers will stay close and the engine will, will get warm 
faster and when it's when it's hot outside those clappers will open and it will let the air go inside to the engine to cool down the engine so pretty awesome technology in my opinion also um the the lines on the hood they are kind of simple nothing fancy and aggressive um, i want to show you there in the middle you can see the camera in the middle of the windscreen is the camera and the connection um connected drive from bmw so you can connect to the internet there the camera it's help the car on lane assist for example reading the speed limit traffic signs um and there are also these sensors for the raining sensors uh really nice lines around here of uh on the on the side of the car you can see it has a line that go all the way through the back the mirrors in white led light on the mirrors as well of course under here no camera so on this um, model we don't have any camera so we don't have 360 degrees camera uh, this car come only with the reverse camera i think you can take it as an option i'm not sure about that but i think you can you can add it as an option also glossy uh, mirrors there uh, and also the handles are kind of classic you see it uh, on the previous version and keyless entrance inside the car you just have to have the key with you and you can go inside and um, lock the car without uh, pressing a button i like this black glossy uh, plastic around the edges of the car it looks much much better in my opinion uh, it looks super fancy better than the the, the rubber uh, up here we have also some lines when you can add some uh, extra trunk uh, up there on the roof and the shape in the back it's phenomenal i love the shape of the car i think this is the perfect suv for the city and for long trips uh, you have plenty of space also for kids um, it's 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 more than enough you have a lot of space there in the back the rims look phenomenal in my opinion they look so nice i love those rims um i think they fit perfect with the car and they look super sporty um and in my opinion they are great look how how small are the brake discs i'm really impressed how small they make those brake discs i'm really interested uh to see 100 uh, 150 horsepower have this car and this small brake disc can stop the car it's quite interesting i think they are very good quality we have the p0 uh, tires here 19 inch um, rims if you're wondering how big is those how big are those rims and the shape in the back and the bumper in the back look phenomenal uh, i love those new design from bmw the way they design this bumper in the back it's it's really great also the led look nice the spoiler up here look really interesting and help the car aerodynamic a little bit and uh, around on the side here we have this glossy black uh, plastic that looks super nice uh, beautiful lines here um, around on the side of the car also the brake light there uh, led of course and now you can see it um, look how cool they look those uh, led lights you can see it also from the side of the car not only from the back but you can see it from the side and i like those led lights where when they are a little bit bigger you know because in the night it, it's the people can see you even for the long long distance on the highway for example or on the big roads so i like that to be very visible from all the side also reverse camera led lights on the number plate um of course um great as i told you led lights almost everywhere and we will go down to the bumper because it's my favorite i like the way they do this bumper a little bit in the back uh, um, for example when when you have those two exhaust pipes you have some muscular part where is this gray plastic here it looks so so interesting the way they do it and the exhaust pipe are real guys and they look nice they have this aluminium over them to to make them look a little bit better we have four parking sensors in the back uh, not six as i was expected just four but 
um, I think it's more than enough because you have also the, the reverse camera so um, you can see easily where are you and, and uh, in every every time X drive ATD on the right side and X1 logo on the other side some light reflector for the night and another exhaust pipe so what do you think guys about that please comment leave me your comment uh, by the way uh, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see the newest car on the market also um, thank you all for watching my videos so yeah anyway let's go let's go forward guys and i think let me go inside here um and we will go also in inside the car in the moment let me open the blinkers i want to show you the blinkers i know many most of you are interested to see how the blinkers are looking and they are they are big enough um i think you can see it really easy and also they are led lights uh the blinkers are led so you don't have to worry also you can see it from the side uh, of the car led lights also on the mirrors right here and also in the front um, you can see the lights they look super nice in my opinion they look really really good um, and in the same time uh, they can also keep that um, daylight open so uh, let me go and close them and then I want to show you the interior. I think we will go in the interior of the car now guys uh, to show you the interior. So um, the trunk, of course, uh, we have automatic lift gate here uh, on the car. I think this comes standard with the car. I'm not sure, but I think so. Um, and also um, we have a triangle up here and you can close the door manually if you want. Uh, you have handles up there the trunk it's it's quite interesting and it's good quality we have some aluminium here at the entrance in the trunk um, also i find that really good that it's a flat floor entrance so you can load your stuff directly flat there this is a good thing also we have in the left side some space here where you can put your stuff it's kind of deep space there you have some hooks uh, around there um, also here you have for the grocery kind of a hook and then in the right side a space for your repair kit or for the um, medical kit or stuff like that 12 volt port in the trunk very useful an led light there on the right side and another hooks uh, in the left and in the right also um, you can take this uh, trunk protection out uh, very simple i like this system from bmw it's very simple to use it just a plastic there you put it up it's, it's very simple everything go really fast there i want to take this out and then i want to show you that how much space you still have in the back so let me take this out guys it's very simple you just have to pull it but with one hand it's it's kind of complicated uh, let me pull it out for you and put it here a little bit on the side and then let me show you the rest uh, so you can see how big is the entrance in the car you can even stick there uh, mobile parts or uh, big items like a fridge or like um, yeah something like like a wash machine or something like that you can also take this out this part but i will not going to do that because you get you understand the idea and you can see now how much space it's here in the back I, I find it really big that the trunk is quite big and also you still have a lot of space under the floor here you can see it's a huge huge space i was impressed when i see first time this space here you have like 30 centimeter deepness so if you take this out you have a huge huge trunk and i i really like it i really like it um that you have plenty of space here in the trunk uh, i'm quite impressed uh, with the space inside the, the the trunk let me go to fold down the seat now guys and show you how the car look with the seats folding down so this price of the price of the car it's uh 50 around 55000 uh, euro and you have also leather inside the car you can see here uh, leather and very good quality materials a lot of uh, new technology on the car here you have this 
uh, handle that you have to pull it and then you pull this and in the same time you can fold down the seat you will see in the moment with the seat folding down that you have a great great um, great flat floor there so let me go on the other side now to show you uh, and fold down the seat now um, so let me show you guys just a moment let me go inside here also, I like this LED light on the handles. You have a small LED here in the night. It's fantastic and it's also super fancy. It looks really interesting in the night. I just want to show you this too because maybe I forget um, until the end. So you have to pull this up and you can fold down even the middle part. It's so simple to do that. It's, it's one second you can fold it down and you have a flat floor there uh, and you have a huge, huge space here where you can uh, carry um, a lot of items and also you still have plenty of space on the legs here uh, if you look down here to the legs you have a huge space also an LED light under the, the, the front seat and uh, kind of a lot of space there in the front also in the back from the back you can see right now how much space you have here in the back really huge space I'm really impressed with the space here and the fact that you have all the the all the trunk flat there it's a really plus and also under the floor in the trunk you see how much still how much space you have there so it's quite impressive uh it's big enough I think it's big enough for for a small city SUV um it's quite quite great and it's also looks super nice the car looks fantastic in my opinion it is very beautiful um it has nice design and also great technology you can see you can also leave the seats like that in this position if you want to carry more items in the back or um i don't know for all kind of purpose you can leave the seats uh, in this position so you 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 don't have to put it all the way in the back you have kind of a few option a few uh, option uh, on how you can leave the seats for example let let put a, let me put a camera here and show you that you have uh, like three levels so you have one level second level you can pull it and push it or maybe maybe you can see better from here from this position so you have more levels you can put it all the way back or you can put it like that or like that in kind of four four position and we, when you put it all the way in the back guys you push it all the way in the back you have a great comfort there um so i think for long trips it's it's gorgeous gorgeous to have those this option in the car to fold down the seats all the way back so i think BMW add a lot of cool feature in the car and also this uh, armrest in the middle you have um, leather two cup holders here in the middle very useful this is the classic from BMW you see it also on the previous model kind of similar and um, now you can see that those those leather seats are also classic from BMW the shape of them uh, the leather it's really good it's good quality leather you can see uh, also the, the the trims and the stitches uh, in the middle it, it has some little holes there um, and you can see even the stitches the blue stitches there on the side and they are really comfortable as you know from the the other previous model that those seats are really really comfortable in bmw and here the cool stuff is that you can also adjust the seats guys so that's really impressive that you can put the seat a little bit in the front so you can adjust it from here you can fold it front or fold it in the back so how cool is that you can see here the difference uh, fold it all the way in the front and all the way in the back so that's that's very helpful when you want to carry more items there in the back so i'm really impressed um, on how how many ways you can customize those uh, BMW X1 uh, seats, so uh, really cool. I really I really really uh, enjoy until now this new BMW X1 uh, 2020 model. So 
um, let me go inside and show you. Here we have also the two vents, kind of simple those two vents. I was expecting to make it a little bit more fancy, but you can also uh, buy extra stuff from uh, AliExpress, for example, and you can add this uh, cover like car carbon fiber or stuff like that. We have two USB-C down there, very useful. I like that for 2019, really useful. Also back of the front seats, plastic, some storage space, LED light under the seat there, uh, close the door and see the space on my legs. Um, let me close the door, guys, and then let me show you that. Um, on the roof here, I think you know already what is that. I, I will also show you in other videos. Uh, it's the net. You can install the net there if you have dogs or stuff like that in the back. Anyway, handle, hooks, good quality on the roof. Here we have some LED lights with some glossy black uh, buttons that also they look really interesting. I like the way they look. Uh, it is very fancy and very styly. Mm, let me go forward, guys, um, <clears throat> to go to the, to the legs room. Uh, actually, I have plenty of legs room now. The front seat is in normal position. Or maybe let me go in the front again and let me adjust the seat in my position. Uh, and then let's see how much space I have. Because I want to make a real, real um, measuring here. And I want to tell you for sure um, <clears throat> how much space is in the back. So I'm going in the front seat. And you can see my legs, it's far away from the acceleration. So let me adjust it. We have manually adjustable seats here but BMW have this super cool system it's very simple to adjust it uh, even manually uh, you can adjust the seats in many positions so uh, it's one of the best manual adjustable seats on the market um, so I, I really enjoy it let me go in the back right now it's in, it's my position my driving position for example it's me in the front and then it's me in the back, the same size. Uh, so we see two people like me, how much space we'll have in the back. Uh, so let me go inside. And now you can see I have a huge space on my legs, guys. Not big, huge space on my legs. And you can see even the, the passenger seat, it's a little bit way in the back. But in my driving position, I have huge space here. I don't even need so much space and I can stretch my legs under the front seat. Really, my legs are almost fully stretched there. So kind of big, big space in the front. Um, and also I have I have a good comfort uh, position on those seats. Uh, some LED lights even there in the, on the door. So... Um, the choice to add two LED lights, also this ambient light here on the door, uh, it's quite fancy. You can see we have two, one under here and one up there in the night. They look uh, very, very interesting. The headspace, I think most of you are interested in this headspace. Headspace, it's huge. I feel like I'm in a X6 inside this car. Uh, the new X1 have plenty of space. Um, and also good visibility on the windows. I have a great visibility on the windows. They make another window there in the back. So you have kind of kind, no uh, blind spot there. So that's a great, great stuff to, to see. Also, as you can see in the back, they add the speakers on the roof in the back there. Uh, the BMW uh, in the new cars uh, add the speakers on the roof, plenty of space. Even here in the middle, in the left side, I still have space for two person around me. You can see the speakers right there in the back on the roof. In the right side um, of the car, we have um, we have the, the seat belt right there. And um, yeah, uh, it's quite, quite cool. And also... Um, Plenty of space for free people uh, here. Let me go back to the discussion. Um, so, um, yeah, the roof, as I told you, it has a good quality. The space in the back, it's great. Here, I wish it was a little bit different with this center armrest. Um, it can be much more fancy. The quality of it, it's, it's great. It's phenomenal. It's the same leather. Fantastic. But the system there, the, the 
the plastic and the system i wish it was a little bit different they can make it a little bit more fancy like in the x6 or in the series one or um, three the new one i mean also the doors uh, are great great quality guys uh, you, you see before the ambient light we have from two parts the window uh, because they want to fold down the the window all the way down you have two speakers there on the on the door soft material quality also here uh, as you can see uh, really good quality on the doors uh, leather almost everywhere we have this glossy plastic that looks super nice uh, with the ambient light around it the handle it's also simple then we have these two speakers in gray like the bmw uh, choice to do it these days they look super nice also um, blue stitches soft material even down here um, leather and then uh, we have the button for the electric window so um, plenty of space storage space here uh, on the door bands and then um, yeah even this part here it's soft material so i'm really impressed with the quality uh, inside this car really good quality uh, on the doors as well so um let me go forward the entrance in the car here in the back it's quite quite big and i like uh the entrance it's it's really impressive uh, how big it is and also you have some plastic at the entrance down here uh, with bmw logo there uh, pretty simple nothing fancy now we'll go in the front so all right so here as i told you keyless entrance in the car um on the front guys the same same quality great quality on the door also we have a little bit different design from the back it's not the same we have just one big window with great visibility uh, of course and also uh, the same leather insertion same good soft quality materials here on the door on the upper side we have led lights as same as in the back also um, the glossy black plastic there here we have the buttons for lock and unlock the car also the same handle uh, up here we have the harman cardon uh, speaker uh, of course in all the car it's the same harman cardon they have a collaboration with bmw uh, and the sound it's it's great it's fantastic good quality sound uh, from these speakers uh, also here on the door really good quality materials soft everywhere almost everywhere you have soft soft uh, materials also the the buttons for the electric windows even here a lot of space a lot of storage space the button for the trunk you can open automatic trunk from this button and uh, the quality is quite good really really good also i like that bmw add all that rubber around the windows uh, around the, the door even down here even here they had this rubber extra rubber uh, when you close the door you have much much better uh, sound insulation inside the car uh, here we have the m at the entrance the m logo with some aluminium and some plastic uh, also it's a small entrance here um, we have only partial uh, <laughs> aluminum pedal, just one in the left side, but the other just normal. And then an LED light right there on the legs. Um, the seat also partial electric, so from here you can adjust only um, only the lumbar part and and uh, the side support electric. But other than that, you have to adjust it manually from here, from here. Uh, and you have another handle on the other side it's very simple to adjust it you can adjust even the front part uh, the seats are also uh, very comfortable for long trips and they are also sporty in the same time because they have that uh, side support there so you can drive also a little bit more aggressively with the car so you still have a good support uh, between those seats but for the long distance they are really uh, good and comfortable the same good leather as um, as in the back of course uh, they are the same a uh, little bit of holes here in the middle as you can see they have a nice design there uh, if you look closely 
you will you will understand immediately that also they look very nice they fit good in the car uh, with other with the dashboard and with other um, uh, systems also with the center uh, console there look very nice the dashboard look nice here we have some space where you can put your stuff this is kind of small space there then here you can adjust the steering wheel the way you want it in manually um, soft material on the dashboard even here on the side um, you have those um, lights button this is the old system with the wheel where you can turn on the light and turn off the light. The vents are also uh, simple, some some chrome design there and glossy plastic. The dashboard, it's soft everywhere, soft material. I think it's rubber uh, everywhere, kind of rubber, uh, but it's good quality and soft material. Uh, we have a head-up display on this car. The head-up display, it's really great. It's directly on the windscreen, you know, on the BMW. Also handle, microphone here. We have an LED light uh, right here on the mirror. And then in the middle, also, of course, SOS button, uh, some normal bulb lights, or I think they are LED, I'm not sure. Or maybe they are LED yellow light. Uh, up here we have the microphone. Then the mirror, I wish it was different. The mirror is not so... Yeah, but you can change it. That's not a big problem. Um, then the the visibility around the car, it's pretty good. I'm really impressed with the visibility. Almost no blind spot there in the back, even though you have the reverse camera. But the visibility, it's fantastic. I have to tell you, I'm really impressed with the visibility. And also, I like those shape of the wind of the mirrors. The, the BMW make those shape, that nice shape on the mirrors uh, when you have a great, great visibility. So I really like them. I really like the lastest model uh, mirror. Also, the, the dashboard and the way they integrate everything looks super nice. Um, the steering wheel is great. Um, the quality there uh, it's awesome also we have a speaker there in the middle on the on the dashboard uh, then we have this um, ambient light that you have it also on the dashboard here under this glossy black plastic the vents are also integrated nice soft material even down here around the glow box uh, you can see the stitches there also nice integrated the multimedia system and the climatic system right here in the middle um, it's very simple to use it uh, you just you just have uh, it's it's in the perfect position you just don't have to stretch your hand too much you are access to all these buttons very simple while you're driving also the display it's well positioned through the driver it's big enough so you have a good visibility from the driver um, side the steering wheel we have the m steering wheel it's awesome i love this steering wheel uh, you can see here the m from sport the uh, steering wheel we have the buttons we have this grip great grip on the steering wheel also the clappers for changing the gear manually um, and the buttons right here is very simple to adjust different settings uh, different things for example from the music here on the right side the media and on the other side we have the adaptive cruise control right here uh, on this side the cruise control and all that stuff the lane assist uh, of course and then the clappers for changing the gear manually if you want to play with the car a little bit and change uh, change it with the clappers uh, like in the sport car I see most of the cars have those clappers these days uh, and the, the head of the cockpit there it's it's quite awesome it's the electric electric the digital one but it's not the newest one the newest is one is the previous version you will see it a little bit later the start stop button here integrated around the steering wheel and you can see it better from this side also the sticks there uh, where you can change the wipers and um, yeah the blinkers on the other side and all that stuff let me go to the center uh, console now here we have the armrest leather the same I like I like the way they make those blue stitches the way they they are um, they are all together they look so nice 
you have even on the middle console and also on the armrest on the seats the same system here you can put your phone and you can also open it just like that i wish it was a little bit different it's kind of uh, old style this armrest here we have a usb port down there that's very useful these days but i wish you i wish they can do it differently uh i like the fact that we have electric uh parking brake on this car this is a great stuff better than manual here we have the controllers for the uh, multimedia system while you're driving it's perfect some leather there in the center console and we have the buttons different mode of driving sport mode uh, then uh, here we have the stick the stick look also nice but it's kind of the old style uh, stick from the previous yeah kind of previous models uh, and then we have here two cup holders uh, and you can even close that part there. I like the way they look, it's not bad, but uh, after I see the new BMW, for example, X6, the three series, also the one series, they look uh, much better. Uh, but this is also super nice and fancy, but the, the other BMW newest of this one look much better in the interior. Huge glow box, I'm really impressed how nice, how good they make this glow box. I really like the glow box. Um, you have plenty of space and it's directly flat there. I like the way they do it. They they do a great job with that. I like the, a lot of things I like about this car. And also um, the cockpit, it's, it's quite awesome. I think you already uh, see it before, the digital cockpit. Here's the multimedia system, it's normal. I think you see it already. Um, I don't. I will not go too much into detail with multimedia system because I think you know it already. Um, here you can change different settings. You can use the controllers, of course. You know while you're driving, it's recommended to use this controller, guys. You have this button, the shortcut button, right here, where you can change um, the the different. Um, menu there you can go in the um, navigation here we have the radio station it's quite simple you can change to im you can choose bluetooth you can choose usb you can go to to the radio depend how you like to listen your music then you have the communication here the the phone you can connect your phone and uh, calendar and all that stuff then we have the navigation that's one of the best it's work really fast and um, it's really really good you have a great screen big screen great colors um, actually amazing resolution and it's very responsive uh, and i like also the screen the way it's positioned there it's, it's in the perfect position guys so you can see it very very easily you can see the colors you can see that it's, it's it has no no lag at all it's very very responsive you just have to play with it in the left right so uh, it's very responsive that's a good that's a thing that i really like about this uh, car uh, this this bmw that they have this amazing multimedia system that it's very responsive for example let me try to to choose a destination and you will see that it's in no time they load in no time it's it's so fast it's it's go directly there in no time you don't have any any time to wait uh, and it's no perfectly where you are on the map and it is fantastic really they have a great hardware and software behind this uh, multimedia system uh, it's really fast and it's, as i told you one of the best connect bmw here you have all that uh, weather news you can go online with the, with the car so uh, that's quite impressive guys so we can see even the weather for the next days how will be the weather and yeah stuff like that so anyway um pretty awesome also here you can see the consumption of the car and information about the car the way the car is driving and and all that technical details uh, about the car uh of, of course you have to have the engine start in order to see all that kind of information and i cannot start the engine right here but um yeah you know the system it's it's kind of 
Um, it's not so complicated. It's very simple. You can learn this system. Very simple. What is complicated is the newest system that I see it on the X6. If you want to see the other videos with uh, BMW X6, uh, free series, one series, the new one from 2020, um, check out on my channel, guys. There you you will see the new uh, operation system seven. Uh, and the multimedia system, the, the E7, the newest this one, there is complicated. There you need time to learn all that stuff. And it's also awesome, really awesome. This is the key uh, of the car, guys. If you're wondering how the key is looking like, uh, it's kind of simple. It's very, very light. You just have to have the key there. You press the start button and then you will see immediately uh, the, the, the display, kind of the the. This is the older display, it's not the newest this one uh, that you can see in my other reviews. I will make a full review also with the new multimedia system. But here it's simple. You have all the info there, down there, even the speed limit. You can read the traffic speed limit. Here you have the, the climatic system, kind of simple to adjust all that stuff. It's perfectly, you have the heated seat right there in the middle. Um, yeah, it's kind of simple um, now here if you go to the car right now i think you can see much more information let me try to do that so now i think I, i'm able here you have all kind of information about the doors about the light about the speed limit you can choose um those intelligent safety systems, uh, speed um, limit assistant, uh, the park assistant, Echo Pro uh, configuration and all that stuff. So I'm not sure if I can see here. You can change even the language, uh, the display, the language and all that stuff. It's, it's really complicated. Really, uh, it has plenty of, of um, plenty of uh, settings here in which you can see or change different settings um, in the car the consumption you can see on this car it's it's brand new car it doesn't drive too much so uh, i don't think it's a realistic consumption that you can see it right there so anyway by the way uh, the display look nice also you have a great visibility from from the driver point of view uh, it's really good and uh, the car it's awesome for this price um, um, I think for the city SUV like BMW with a lot of uh, great great quality uh, also you can see here the LED lights um, and the high bin the low bin they, they look fantastic uh, one of the most beautiful LED lights are on the BMW uh, in my opinion they look super awesome and guys, the price of the car, 55000 is not so bad. Uh, I see that the new BMW 1 Series, it has also the same price, but it has the newest technology. Um, I hope you enjoyed the review with the new BMW X1 2020 model. Um, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my other videos with the newest car. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, share subscribe and i wait you in the next video so um by the way happy new year guys and see you soon in the next video bye